My BFI player choice this week is the extraordinary short film on which director Mark Jenkin perfected the distinctive filmmaking technique that will be employed to such powerful effect in his acclaimed feature, Bait. A tale of homelessness and dispossession in Jenkins' native Cornwall, it's the perfect companion piece to what was, in my opinion, the defining British film of the decade, Bronco's House. When his girlfriend becomes pregnant, Bronco, played by Henry Dark, son of Jenkins' artistic mentor Nick, needs to find a place for his new family to live. But in a world that's become a magnet for second homeowners, how can Cornish natives put a roof over their heads? Shot on clockwork cameras with a maximum runtime of less than half a minute and processed using an instant coffee-based developer of Jenkins' own You're formulation, insane. Bronco's house was made according to the dogma-esque rules of the director's Silent Landscape Dancing Grain 13 manifesto, a tongue-in-cheek document whose 13th rule was that the filmmaker must break one of the previous 12 commandments. It's a typically wry gambit, yet one that reflects a more serious discovery. After years working in the digital medium, Jenkin recaptured his artistic mojo by getting back to film, specifically small gauge black and white film shot silent with post-synced sound. When I first saw Bronco's House, I was impressed but surprised by Jenkins' declaration that he intended to shoot a full length feature using the same technique. I think my exact words to him were, well, good luck with that. The rest, of course, is history, offering further proof that if you want to know about the future of film, don't ask a critic, ask a filmmaker.